Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, aka Grey Elephant. And Carmen Norris. And welcome to another exciting live playthrough by Grey Elephant Gaming. What are we playing today? Today we're playing Seven Wonders Duel, the Pantheon expansion. Yeah, now if you recall, we already did a video on the base game, Seven Wonders Duel. I said at that time I still liked Big Brother better, being Seven Wonders. Mm -hmm. Now will Pantheon change my mind? Well, let's play through a game and uh, we'll get to our thoughts at the conclusion. All right, everybody, we are playing the Seven Wonders Duel expansion, Pantheon. And uh, if you notice, we've got a new little board that connects to the top of our already existing board. This will be the uh, Pantheon area where the gods are going to rest. Um, the gods, speaking of them, well, my goddess, Carmen, of course, has joined me. <laughs> but then there are other gods that are watching as well. <laughs> um, so what's going to end up happening is, as we take cards, these little tokens could possibly flip over. They will match the symbols that are located on the back of these gods' cards. And then what the person who flips the card over gets that token. They're going to be able to draw two cards, and then they're going to place one of the gods up here in one of these spots. Um, we'll explain the process of all that um, as we proceed with the game. There's no need to try to explain too much now. But everything else is basically the exact same thing. Um, we've already selected all of our wonders. I am first player. As first player, I'm looking over at all the stuff I possibly need. Um, I oh, we forgot to start with our money. I do know that. So he's we'll, gonna we'll look get at our what money. I need, and then he's gonna take whatever it is that I need for mine. <laughs> well, that is part of the game as well. He totally shut me out last game. I'm uh, still salty. Last game, I did kind of whoop you a good one, didn't I? <laughs> um, well, I think I'm gonna. Take Take this paper right off the bat and that will cost me one coin and uh, then I'll pass over to Carmen and let her take her turn. Well I have a real easy decision if you look at my wonders over here and what I need for them so I'm gonna take that brick. Okay so she's taking the brick and then that's going to immediately take she's getting she gets this token Woo of course this card flips over as well fancy and now she gets to draw these two cards yep. And then she gets to choose one of them that she wants to put up into the Pantheon. And now she gets to choose where, which card and where it's going to go into the Pantheon as well. Do you remember the symbols and what they're doing? Um, I think these are pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So I'm well, going to choose need to explain them yet, but <laughs> this one. Okay. So give me the other one. The one get you take the one that one. Take the one that I'm giving you. Oh uh, well, you you're kind of handing me two, so. <laughs> And now I have to decide where to put it. You see that there's um, little white arrows. Can you see those? That means if I put it here, then whenever um, I try to obtain the card, I only have to pay three, but Tim would have to pay eight. Mm -hmm. And then so on and so forth. The farther away so you get, so the more forth. expensive the cards are. Here's I would pay five. He would pay mm -hmm. six. Um, I think I will put that right here. Ooh, must be a good one. Maybe. Maybe I'm just playing mind games. Mind games. So I do want this stone, so that we'll flip this card over here. Oh, well, look who just got one. And that did cost me one Yay, coin. Me. And go back to Carmen. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Such a tough decision I have here. Pay your one coin, woman. Look at that. <laughs> Aha! I was totally shut out of having resources last game, so I'm just... Yeah, you're kind of enjoying yourself, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I'll take this one right here. That's a freebie, so three victory Ooh, points. And it got, a, it got a moon. And then I get game. that as well, which will be the Olympic torch. <laughs> and it did flip over cards, so that'll be, I believe this is Aphrodite. Uh, let's see, so that one's pretty obvious what that one does. This one, I'm not 100% sure what it does. Uh, I'll have to look that up and then I'll make my decision when I come back. I think I am just going to keep going with the resources and I'm going to grab this one. Cost you three. Because yeah. that's going to give me money later on too. I and, think it was a good choice. And then I don't uncover anything important yet. Mm -hmm, that's true. So just so you guys are aware, I chose this one right here and then I plopped it in that spot right there. Alright, um, for me I will pay two coins. And I will take science! Science. And then that will flip over both of those. De gone. Ah, Jesus. Okay, not good. Um, well, you got does. a fancy thing. It did give me a fancy oh, thing. There's these. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And I am aware of what both of these do. Um, 
we're gonna go with this one and we'll plop it right there. Okay, and we'll go back over to Carmen. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I have the camera just to take this and then give it right Well, back. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty obvious <laughs> one. <laughs> and then I want that brick, obviously. So, pop that there. I will have to pay one coin for that, so. Running out of money over here. Okay, I have to, like, play with the camera angle because I get glares otherwise. That's why it's at a weird glares. angle. But, um... Yeah, I have three cards to choose from. All of them, each one will cost me two coins. Yep. Or I could trash one. And yep. then I'll get three coins because yep. I have a yellow card. Science just didn't work out for me last game. I just, I don't know, man. Well, it's a tough decision. What's your plan, man? Uh, 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 uh. Science is just, it's so tempting, though. Um... <laughs> I'll trash it for three right, points. There you go. <laughs> you had my three coins ready. Look at yes, that. Yes, I did. You knew what I was going <laughs> to yeah, do. I did. Yeah, I want to trash a card, too. I'll trash this one. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we'll <laughs> trash this one. Yeah, like, I'm going to uncover that stinking wood for you, right? So, that'll get me two coins. Decisions, decisions. Um, yeah, I think I'll take this one. Alright, so you was able to get that for free? Yup, yup. Oh, I forgot your to point that out yeah. when the camera was on. Alright, well, I do have a brick, so I will so build you get that for free. this one. That'll also give me the Man, token and flip those both over. You're getting over. too many of these tokens. Huh? Oh, that makes me mad. I hate it when that card flips up. I'm slightly worried. <sighs> that card is absolute garbage, man. Seriously. All right, so it's another one of these. And this comes towards me. Yeah. Uh, well, it should be towards you one spot. Yes. Yeah. That's what I did. Okay. Um, I think I'll take this one and put it there. Okay. All right. Gee, I wonder what Carmen's going to take. This is not as easy of a decision as I thought. I'm very, very tempted to take that because it's going to save me one coin every time I use wood. It's going to give me a coin every time I destroy a card for money. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, but the problem is it's not going to pay off right away and I need to be able to build a wonder this age. So I guess I'll go with this one, which is what Tim would have done anyway, but whatever. Yeah, four money for free. Four money and then an additional money each time yeah. you destroy a card. Kind of a joke. <laughs> And I have no way of, like, stopping you from getting that wood now, either. That's the thing, because then I go, then you go, then I go. So, no matter what, I mean, you're going to get that wood. At this point, I feel like I'm going to have to just maybe try to put heat on her by going for some science. So, science. that is my second science token. And, uh, because she's going to start dominating resources and I can't stop any. Obviously, I'm going to take the wood, which gives me that thing. Which is a little boot. What is this, Poseidon? He's Poseidon himself. Uh, Astarte. Um, oh, I remember this one. And... Hmm. I think I'll go with... That one, this this one. Just drop the other one, because yeah. I can't figure out which one you're talking it's about fine. when you act like you're gonna hand one to me. <laughs> I'm handing it to you. Um, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and I will put it over here. Interesting. So it must not be all that great. Okay. Because over here, I'm gonna get the door now. Yeah, you will. So I'll place that there now. Woo, okay. Betsy. So I don't have enough money. I do not have any wood. Uh, so I will just trash this one right here for two cash. So this is not going very well for That's me at all. Like These cards, my game last time. yeah, the cards are just popping up in your favor. There's nothing I can do to stop it. All right, time to build a wonder or I'm going to miss my chance this round. So that's going to cost me three. That's going to cost me two. That's five. I have that for free. I have that for free. That is going to cost God, I me can't believe you can already build one, though. three, so that's eight. So I'm going to build that for eight coins. It always costs so many coins to build these. 
even you know, even though I have a lot of resources. Which okay. card are you destroying for? Um, I will destroy this one. Okay. Uh, put it under here, and that gives me another turn. And Yay. it also. It also gives me three coins and takes three coins away from Tim. Yeah. It's perfect timing. And um, I will take this. Yeah. Obviously. And you have paper. I do, so it's going to so cost gonna you cost three, me three for it. Which is what I just got for Bill Nyman. Yeah. <laughs> and if you just want to keep the camera rolling, uh -huh. I'm just going to trash this card okay. for two coins back. So. All, All right. right. So we'll get age two set up and we'll be right back. All right, so Carmen will be first this round, but I thought I'd take a moment to try to explain to you the uh, different setup. If you notice now, the god cards that Carmen and I were placing up here in the Pantheon are now revealed. Uh, like Carmen stated, this will be at my cost, and that is Carmen's cost, whichever way the arrow points to the player. That's how much their cost is. The game's going to play out normally, just like you would play, uh, you know, the base game, except if you notice, we do have other little offering tokens here. These offering tokens will have a negative two, three, or four money value that can be applied to whenever you do make an offering to the gods. So, for instance, just like when we did it with round one, if I take this card and expose this one, I would gain that offering. Whatever value is on it was what I could use as a discount towards purchasing the favor of one of the gods. Now, the other thing about this is, is that you're going to have the option of either taking a card, using a card to build, trashing a card, all normal stuff, or your action can consist of just trying to gain the favor of the gods. So now we do have a fourth option in the game. So with that said, Carmen is first and we'll see what she decides to do. Okay, here are the cards that I have to choose from. Um, this I cannot afford. This one I can get for free. Um, but let me show you, I made a mistake earlier in the game and so I'm going to have to try to kind of fix it. I don't know. Anyway, I gave Tim this card and I didn't remember what the bottom was doing and I didn't want to mess with it because I had the camera rolling. <laughs> the bottom of this card states he's going to be able to take, if he pays the three coins and gets this card, which there's no way I can pay eight and get it. I mean, very unlikely. Um, he can take a brown or gray card from my city and put it in his city. So it's a really huge deal and I gave it to him for three coins. That was really stupid. So what I have to do now to try to offset that is destroy this card so that he can't take it. Okay, so I'll flip that over. And that is, uh, he probably couldn't take it anyway, I don't know, but anyway. Um, is what this. That is what, four coins for me? Yeah. For destroying it. All right. Oh, uh, well, well, one of the ways I could win is with science. Another way is this card is really good. The fact that I can take one of her resource cards now and add it to my um, tableau, that my city, totally even I mean, out. that really can offset what's happening here right now, and I can start taking advantage of... Uh, that wouldn't you know, even even things out. Then you would have more resources than me. Well, it, would I? How would... It, yeah, I guess I would. I, I, y yeah. yeah, I only have one more than you. Okay, well, yeah. anyways... Um, it's a very uh, tempting prospect here to do that, to be honest. I don't see her paying eight to do that, though, at any point in time. And I would kind of like to grab this science here, because that would give me my third science card that I could use to try to, you know, put additional pressure on her with. So that's what I think I want to do. Now, I don't have glass, so I'm going to have to spend two money for the glass, because Carmen doesn't have it either. And then I'll just take this science and place it right there. And uh, that gives me three science cards. I really, really want to get a wonder built before he takes my resource, but I'm one coin short from building any of them. So I suppose I will grab this. Um, I can build that for free, and I'm going to get that as a result, which is going to give me. Don't, don't, something. don't show me. You use that whenever yeah, at your discretion. That gives me a discount. Yes. On um, grabbing any of these yeah. cards over here. Okay, so. You moved my uh, I already thing. did it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then um, I'm going to just destroy this to gain the two money from the card. <clears throat> I'm just tearing everything up there. Okay. And then uh, we'll send it back over to Carmen. Wow, this game is just, ugh, I just, I feel like I need to grab that to keep it away from Tim again. And I just, should I be playing defense this much? Probably not. I don't know. 
um, you know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to correct my mistake and buy this. For eight? Four. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Sorry. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. You want stone or uh, brick? Um, well, I could take your paper, too, so let me... Stone, brick, or paper, then. Stone, brick, or paper. Well, oh, this takes three brick. But I did, but I do get a discount on brick. Um... You don't have any papers. So. I don't have any paper. And th you need paper. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, I'll take paper. Hate you. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I'm actually not as angry as what I tried to imply, because uh -huh. I can get to build this for free, because I have that symbol that matches that symbol right there, which now allows me to gain one of these uh, tokens up here. I already had my eye on architecture, which now means that any future wonders I build cost two less resources Dang, of my choice. That is so huge. That's what she said. I don't want to overthink things, so I'm just going to grab this, because I can build it for free. And what did I uncover? Another one of those dang military is going crazy. Yeah. And I get this. No, you don't. I don't? No, you don't. You only get it when you flip the card over? Yeah, you didn't flip it. Shoot, I thought I was going to get it. You didn't. All right, so do, 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 do. I can just build this for free. So I'm just going to do that and place it right there because I got the moon. Look at this mess. Look at this. I don't want to touch it. I just don't want to touch it. Touch it. Touch it. I dare you. <laughs> So I think I'll go over here. <laughs> um, let's see. Whichever one I choose, it's going to flip one over and I get one of those yep. tokens. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. I'll do this one. Okay. I'm going to destroy it because I need money. <gasps> no way. Okay, I got that, and then I get four coins for destroying it. Well, I can't pass that up. The only problem is, is that I could buy that, and then she could build that wonder and just turn around and destroy it. That's... It's always something stupid, dude. Uh, okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do instead. Uh, we're going to take this one here, and we're going to build a wonder. I've already got the stone and the brick. And then I get to ignore the two glass because wow. of architecture. That also allows me to go again. So I get to take this token, and we'll flip both of these over. That was a big oh, move there. Okay. Oh, that could give me glass for free, which that's kind of for a big free. deal. I don't really need glass a whole heck of a lot, not for my wonders. Um... I can't afford to take this one here. I don't believe. No, I can't. I can't afford that one. So that I could destroy it just so she can't have it. I could still try to take the two wood, I guess. Otherwise, she'll probably just take it. I, I don't know. Um, let me stop and think. I, I'm going to think off camera. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just don't like the idea that I'm going to buy that and then she's just going to build that wonder and immediately destroy that card. So it is just 100% in my opinion not worth for me to try to get the sawmill. So instead of the sawmill, I think I'm going to go a different route. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually, uh, I thought about destroying it, um, which that's not a terrible idea, but she's kind of got all the wood she needs anyway, so it doesn't matter. I am a little worried that she could probably try to run away on military on me though. So what I'm going to do for my next action is I'm going to build another wonder. This one right here. Because I can negate both of the wood, and I've got the stone, and I've got the brick. If you notice now, that's going to give me a paper or a glass, and I get to take another action. So, once again, I get to go. Those actions! <laughs> uh, well, this, uh, this tile or token was pretty amazing. Um, what I could do from here now is I could decide if I would like to, to destroy another one of those military cards, just so that she can't try to rely on the military to try to defeat me. Um, the other thing I can do now, too, is I could uh, build another one of my wonders, and I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, for my next action, going to destroy this one, and I'm going to pop Great. it up underneath here. Um, I will use the paper 
to for this right here and then I oh and then I will negate two of them which will be the other paper and the wood sorry I had a glare Wait, there, guys. what are sorry. you doing I'm, I'm the one who has paper so once again I'll explain what I'm doing I'm going to use my paper from this one oh, got it. for that. I will negate this paper and this wood, and then I've got the stone. So I built this one. That now will give me either a wood, stone, or a brick of my choice um, that I can use. And then she can't destroy that, thank goodness, like uh, she would have been able to one of these brown cards. Hey, Carmen, guess what? It's your turn. I am going to build a wonder, and I'm going to destroy this because Tim would get that for free. Yeah. So that's going to go under here. Ah, okay. So, um, I have paper, I have two wood, I have to pay two coins for one wood and two coins for the glass. Okay, so a total of four money then. And there's your three tokens. Apparently, I played this wonder wrong last game, and I took a token that was a revealed up there. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure I did. No, I so, no, I drew the top three tokens for you. I remember. So I get to pick out of these three tokens. Yes. Let's if you just want, just flip them they out. Are. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, oh, look so at that. seven victory points, another science, and that's worth two victory points for each one of these that you have at the end of the game. So it'd be worth six victory points at the moment. Okay. Don't you have another one of those tokens? Those. No, that's it. Yeah, I spent you it. You spent the other one. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I'll take that. It's kind of a no-brainer. Alright, um, I think I'll just take the glass here, and then we'll go back over to Carmen. Here's the dealio. I do not want to take either one of these because it's going to uncover all of these. I do not want to take this because I would have to pay two coins and I'd be left with no coins. If I destroy it, I would get four coins, which would still not give me enough to build one of my wonders that I want to build. So, I think I'm just going to go over here and grab this. That cost me three coins. That cost you six coins. Put that back what, here. What? Oh, it cost six? Okay, come okay. back up here. No, sorry. Right, right, right. Sorry. I want to point it out. It See, it says six. times two. Wherever the door is, it costs double of its location. It costs six coins. I don't have enough for that then. So, I don't know what I'm doing still. Huh. Ugh, jeez. Well, your options now are just to mess with that card, so um, either you buy it or destroy either it. Either I buy it or destroy it. I'll destroy it. Okay. Four coins for me. Four coins for you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your coins because now I am going to destroy them. So I'm going to use this offering, which is a negative three. I will spend one of my other coins. I will invoke Neptune. Yeah! Sucks when people take stuff from you, doesn't it? Neptune allows me to destroy one of my tokens off my board, which means I inv also invoke it onto her, so you lose five coins. That's if we understood this correctly. Now, we're going to read it to you because that's how we it played sure it seems before. Like it. And uh, it seems an awful, mean, and powerful card. Very but, powerful. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. If you could help me hold that down. Right there. It says, uh, choose and discard a military token without applying its effect. Then choose and apply the effect to another military token, which is then discarded. So, it says, example, Elodi activates Neptune's power. She discards the military token, which could make her lose five coins. She then applies the military token, which makes Jack lose five coins. The token is discarded. Blech. So, happy anniversary, baby. I don't know. I mean, I know what I'm going to do this turn, but I haven't figured out what it's going to be in the future. I have a feeling future? that if I do, I'll be just kind of upset. So I'll just destroy this, get my four coins. Yay. Well, that left the brewery open. I can't pass yeah. that up. That's too too uh, generous of you, so I'll take the six coins for the brewery for sure. We both have enough coins to do whatever we want next turn. So yeah. I, uh, destroy that I guess get four coins well I I'm going to predict she is going to invoke a god on her next turn uh, she does not want to move this she doesn't want me to have that because um, she knows that'll give me four science tokens and she's doing everything she can to set herself up to try to, uh, to avoid that, that yeah. to take it so either I take this right now and uh, either apply it for a, uh, either destroy it for money or 
I could build it, I guess, which really I probably won't mess with building. Um, or I can uh, build a wonder here, um, which then means she's going to take this because she wants to get one of these tokens. I think, if I had to guess, she's probably got her eye on either this one or this one. Um, because the six money and four victory points is pretty nice. I don't think she needs to worry about economy anymore. Or actually, I think you get a what is that? A money for each one of your cards? Is that what it is? Even though it still is not really. No, good. it's um that instead of paying the bank, you would have to pay me whenever okay. you have it's to pay still for resources. Not worth it. No. So she's she's looking at this one or this one because she wants that science as well. I believe she definitely doesn't want me to have it. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> Um, there's really no way for me to stop her from taking that science from me, even if I decide to invoke the gods this round, because then she'll just do nothing but invoke the god, and then uh, I'll have to still take that card, and then she will do whatever she wants. So, here's what I will do right off the bat, is I will just destroy this, I don't want it, and I will take three money, because I do have one yellow card. I really hate having to play defense. I mean, this is not my preference, but... You know, it is what it is. Given so. the fact I will take it. <laughs> so, there's your choice. I have choice. to pay six coins for that. And then I get to pick one of these, which I'm going to pick this one. Yep. Six money. There you go. Four victory points. Woo! Yep. So, I'll be first player in the next round. I am not going to take the stone. I don't need the stone. So, that will destroy that. That will give me six money. I'm sorry, <laughs> three money. I'd love six money. I got six money on my mind. And that will end this round. So I will set up round three, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've got some new cards here. These are the, um, instead of guild cards, I can't, I'm trying to remember what these are called. I'm sorry, guys. But there's three purple ones that are laid out here. Uh, if you notice, they have resources that can be required to take to build, but they also have a little symbol here. That was the, uh, um, these little... Three Grand Temple cards. The Grand Temple. Grand Temple cards. So remember when Carmen and I were in round one when we placed those God cards up here, the symbols that were matched? If you notice, if you can match the symbol, you can build it for free. So right off the bat, I do have one that is an option to me. It has a little Olympic torch here. Now the way that these work is that they stack. So the first one you get is only worth five points. The second one, 12. The third one is 21 points. So if you can get all three of them, 21 points is a big deal. So my question, or I guess uh, your decision. my decision, yes, here would be to can I, do I take this in hopes that I can get this one for free as well? Because um, Carmen's going to aim to try to make sure that she prevents me from getting that one if I take this one. I can also build this one for free because if you notice I have the little sunshine right here. So that's a guaranteed six. This is a guaranteed five with the potential of turning to 12, possibly 21. Yeah, I like risks. If I don't take it, she will. I know that. So I will take that. I'll lay it there. We'll see what turns up to see if that entices her to maybe try to make the decision to take maybe, you know, see? Science. Science. He's getting a good deal no matter what. I am sweating bullets over here. Um, well, I'm definitely going to have to take that card. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. Maybe I shouldn't have turned the camera on yet. I got <laughs> <laughs> Um, do I want to build a wonder or do I want to take coins? Because if I build a wonder, it might just cost me so much that then I'm wiped out and I can't do what else I wanted to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me just think about this for a minute and figure this out. Okay, so my wonder would cost me eight coins to build. That would wipe me out. And I wouldn't have any coins, so I think I'm going to um, destroy it. Four coins. Okay. That's, I hate that. I really, really, seems like a waste of turn. And it did pay off, so that's great, because I do have the little bird symbol there. So now I'm a guaranteed 12 points. So I didn't think it was going to pay it out, but it sure did. So thank you, Carmen. You were so very I, welcome. I know you, you were, were so very it's welcome. It's not like you had a real choice. There. I'm going to have to take this so you don't get free six <laughs> points now. I'm more than Jeez. happy to take that now, too. <laughs> Yeah, um, I will use that to build my wonder, which moves the military too. Uh oh. Boom, boom. I don't like that. And um, that cost me a lot of money. Let me just put my money over here. Put my money over here is what I'll do. Well, this is, this is all coming up roses. It's all coming up Tim. 
I've got the brewery right here, so I get to build that for free, and I get two coins for each wonder I've built, and I've built three, so I get six coins, so yay me! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Yeah. Ah, you jerk. I wanted Nine that. Nine points. I was going to grab her the last round, but I, I thought, nah, she won't do it. It cost me all but one coin. Yeah. Mm, not cool, dude. Not cool. Well, I can't let this card get through my fingers. It will cost me some, but that's okay. It's worth uh, nine victory points to me because now I've got all three of them. So 21 points. I don't believe that's per card. I believe that's total as a set because it does show all three stacked. I've never gotten all three. That's why I say that. This is the first time this has ever happened. It's a miracle. A Festivus miracle. Now, I can negate one of the wood with this. I can negate uh, the paper with... Um, with this, I can negate the glass, so there's still two wood. Carmen has two wood in her tableau, so it's going to cost me four per wood. I have none, so it will cost me a total of eight money for that. So, But I still say that was worth it. I have no money. You got no money, and you got no car, and you got no woman, and there you are. Got no choice. You have to destroy this for money. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. I hate those turns. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, then I'm going to go for another science here. Um, I get to build that one. Not for free, but I do have the glass. I've got, I've got everything I need, so it's not going to cost me. But it does reveal this card for Carmen. And, uh, yeah, that's no big deal. Now I have money. Yay, me! Here's what I'm going to do. This wonder is really not that great, but... Nine that points. one is. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. So, man, um, you've taken 18 points away from me by doing this. That's oh, nice. shoot. I'm going to have to do a, a card. Uh, which one do I want to destroy? Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. What is. You could probably. You have this symbol? No, you don't have that symbol. I don't have that symbol, no. Um, I'll destroy this one, I guess. Put it under there. And, um, you want to destroy my brick or my stone? I have all of these. I don't know yet. Hold on. I have all of these except for one paper, so I have to pay two. For yeah. It, correct? Two okay. Now, what should I destroy? Uh, I don't know. Let me decide that off camera. I've decided, based on the cards that are available, that stone is right. what I will destroy, and then this gets moved. Did you already move it? No. All right. I know you're fiddling with it a minute ago. Really? Mm, yes. Maybe we have to go back on the camera and see. Okay, so I'll build this one, and that'll give me three money to place it in my tableau. Nice. And then I've got everything I need to be able to do up between my wonders and then my brick that she didn't destroy. Thank you. I guess I'll go with this. I'll build that for six points. I have to pay for Tim's brick, so there we go. What was revealed? Science. Yes. Well, I don't need this. Um, I've already got that symbol. And then on top of that, none of these are really going to do me much any good at this point in the game. So I'm just going to destroy it, and that'll get me five coins. Look at me, sitting over here with no money. I'll destroy that and get four coins. <laughs> Woo! Best turn ever. What did we reveal? <gasps> it's scary. So interesting question. Um, all the wonders have been built. Isis allows you to build a wonder for free. I'm going to assume you can still invoke her. You just can't take the action. So as an action, you can invoke Isis. You just can't perform the ability that she's allowing you to do. Carmen's got four coins. I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to force me to have to take this card so that then she can destroy my science. I have... Um, an option here because what's going to end up happening is, is that if I then decide to jump the gun and I go ahead and just invoke Isis to try to force her hand, then she will go ahead and destroy this. That's fine, but I don't know if I have enough money for this. The uh, What she'll end up doing then, though, is that she's got enough money to activate the door. And that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to make sure she's got enough for Isis and the door 
or she's going to try to invoke Mars along with these other military actions to try to push military and possibly win just automatically with that. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of options here, and I've thought them through. I think the main thing I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to have to jump on the door before she does. I don't know if this is a great idea just because it's going to cost me a lot in coins, but... There is a possibility that I could flip up something that could help me out, and I do need oh, a lot of help wow. right now. So that's going to cost me um, a total of 16 coins, and I do have that total right here in coins. The door will go away. And now what we do is we flip over each one of these cards, the top one, and then I choose one of these cards that... Can you please flip over the ones? I choose one of these cards that I wish to invoke. So, what's interesting about this is that Ishtar did appear. Ishtar is a science. So, if I choose to take that Ishtar card, it would now give me my fifth science. <laughs> if I wish to try to win with science, that may be the only way I could possibly make it happen. I need to stop and think about this because I know she's got other options that she could perform here that could possibly prevent me from still winning with science. Um, so I need to think about these other cards that I have laid out here that could possibly help me still try to pull out a victory here. I have got so many options here, and the, Carmen's trying to win with military. This could stop her from that. This could stop her from winning with military. I could uh, remove one of her built um, uh, wonders, and then that would allow me to possibly build my own. Um, I could gain my fifth science. I don't think I can win with science at this point. I'm going to choose a starry. She gives yeah. me seven coins to put on her, and then that's going to allow me. If, if I don't spend them, then I can actually keep those coins as victory points. So, uh, But seven coins will go on her. Uh, I don't know if that was the wisest choice, but it's what I've decided to do. Carmen? This really stinks because uh, this cost me five to build. This cost me five to invoke. I could waste my turn and go ahead and invoke Isis for four coins plus a wasted turn just to keep him from getting that science card. Science! I'm going to destroy this and take four coins. Yeah, I think that's probably your best bet. I really don't want to waste my turn that badly. I mean, no. I totally... I wouldn't have any money and I would also lose my turn. That's just too much. Yeah. I don't think I can win with science. Um, I mean, I would love to give it a shot, but uh, I just don't think I can win with science. I really, really don't. Um, I do not have any wood, but I am going to take that card. So it will cost me four just to get that card. He's just doing everything to screw one, me up. One, two, <laughs> three, four, and then I'll put just one back onto there. So that's still worth five victory points. Um, then I'll take this one, and that will give me uh, two coins for each brown card. Um... So, I would just get two coins back. So, all right, Carmen. Holy moly, look what was revealed. Look at how many coins I have. Wow. That's wow. So, three. Wait, that cost me eight coins. Yep. That only cost me five. How many coins do you have? You only have seven. Which means you um, would not be able to afford this. Nope, but I can destroy it for sure. And But you would be able to afford this. Yes, I can. <sighs> Shoot. Now, this is, wow, this is like a chess match. I'm going to have to figure out if you can build this one and all this. Hold on. My problem is, if I build this, he's just going to build that and push it to you back again. And that's just going to really stink. Two step forward, two yeah. steps back. Um, and he can't afford to build this. Nope. But he can't afford to build that. Yeah. So I'm going to take it. Alright. <clears throat> <sighs> Alright, so I will... She can't afford to build this now, so right. I don't know if it's beneficial, but at the same time, I don't know how beneficial it is for me to reveal a card, though, either, that could possibly give her the money she needs. Regardless, I will uh, destroy this for a total of six money, and I'll flip that up for her. It wasn't science. There you go. 
This game is crazy. Uh, I guess I'll destroy this because I don't want him to get it. So, yeah. All right. Okay, and then I'll just destroy this one, which will give me six point or six money. And my decision earlier just cost me five points because that's not yep. going to move past that line right there. Ugh. I actually thought you should have done the three. That stinks. I just, I didn't, I don't know. Well, it would have, you would have pushed it back anyway. It wouldn't yeah, make any difference. Yeah, but you would have then forced me to have to take that action to push it back, whereas you would have been guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. So now you've got lots of money, which you would have had to have spent yep, in exactly. order to do that card. Yep. All right, well, uh, can I even do that? I don't even know if I can do that. Um, um, you've only got one stone. You've got no glass, So, and I do have glass, so it would cost you a total of five money if you want to try to build that. I will build it. Okay. And that does keep, give you one money, so just keep one. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to just uh, destroy this one and then get six money. And that's And the then game. that is game. So we'll total, tally, tally, total, total, total of our space. Tally. Tally, that's the word. All right, so. Carmen got me by four points. Fan freaking tastic. Wow. Great job, hon. That was such a good game. Wow. That was an intense game. I felt like we were playing chess the whole time. That was so phenomenal. This expansion has totally changed my mindset. Now, I always thought Seven Wonders Duel was good, don't get me wrong. But just that added effect of have uh, been able to invoke the gods up there has yeah. just given that extra little decision to make that right. has really turned this into just a game that you can sit down and casually play to a real meaty experience with, with big decisions. Yes, well not only that, but I think it really uh, helped balance the base game. I mean, I hate to say it, but I think the base game had a little bit of a problem with where you just have no choice, you know, and, and I think this really helped it out quite a bit. Yeah, this game was so good because it just kept going back and forth. I felt age, at the end of age one, man, you I felt like you were totally in control. At the end of age two, I felt like I was in control. Yeah. And then all throughout <laughs> this age was crazy. Yeah, and then all throughout age three, it just was a little just give and take back and forth, back, back and, and forth. forth. Crazy. And when you ended up uh, two things, you ended up getting the um, the card, the Aphrodite card. Which, oh, I was planning yeah, on buying that. I was that. so I happy. Really did. So happy when I got that card. I was like, nine points. I mean, it's like, I, I was figuring that out earlier when I was, should I build a wonder or nine points? My wonder yeah. is not worth nine points. And I was a hair's breadth away from buying that at the end of age two, and now I regret not doing that. Yeah. The second thing you did is you built your fourth wonder, which prevented me from building which my fourth. You and from that was yours. nine points, too. You have to pay attention to your opponent. I've made that mistake in the past where I'm just, oh, psh, it's not going to be worth it to me. And then Tim's like, oh, well, that means I get to build mine. And I'm like, yeah. crap. <laughs> both, of those, those, both of those really did. Because if you wouldn't have done either one of those, I won then the game. Then you would have gotten them. Yeah. 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 So right there, it all came down to those two awesome decisions you did make to totally change the tide of the game. And when she did that, she did force me into getting those purple cards because I felt like that was my only chance outside of science from trying to beat you victory point wise. Right. And it almost got me there, but just was, not quite. Quite it enough. was close. It was close. I, I was kicking my, I always kick myself, you know, for any decision. I was kicking myself for not getting the, um, the three yes, shields, so uh, military. To be able to move the military. That right. would have given you five additional points. Right. Yeah. But it wouldn't have given me five additional points because I'm sure he would have just pushed me back. I would back have the then line. tried to go on the defensive to push you back. There's no right. doubt about right. that. Yes. But it, it would have kept him from uh, getting as many coins as he did because he would have had to spend coins instead of gaining coins. That's really the only difference. <laughs> yeah, but you would have forced me to have to spend my victory point coins that were on... Um, What's her name? Es oh, yeah? Estrada. Yeah. It would have been and, those and coins? It, I would have probably cost me them coins, yes. And oh. that would have then cost me victory points, not only my spinning coins, but then victory points from her as well. Right. So, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So that so. would have made quite a bit of difference, actually. Yeah, so a phenomenal experience. And I hope this really demonstrated just how great this expansion oh, yeah. is I and how good this game is. This game really, really showed you what 
the what potential. a difference that the expansion mm -hmm. makes because of all the decisions we had. Yeah, and what's funny is, is the game before we filmed, which I'm glad we didn't film that one, um, Carmen got totally dominated. I mean, it wasn't even a close game at all. It was terrible um, because I couldn't get any resources the whole game. Yeah, and, and, and now that she's got a few more games under her belt, she's really right. kind of understood how the gods work because in our first few games, the gods cards were being purchased like rapidly before the close. end of age two yeah. before, we didn't even go into age three with any god cards left because we bought them so fast um but now you saw that with experience you see that you don't necessarily have to buy them right away whereas i still kick myself for not buying that aphrodite the point <laughs> is is that you don't necessarily have to buy them right away that they, they are as much of a weapon to be left there as much as they are to take because you can use that as an action versus taking a card from the construction so yeah anyways any final thoughts you want to wrap it up? I think this is a lot of fun. I highly recommend if you like Seven Wonders Duel, you got to grab the expansion. Well, I think that you really uh, pointed out the main thing that I come away from this game with is that, is that if you have a god card that you can invoke instead of taking a card, you know, because that's the, that's the um, part of Seven Wonders Duel that I kind of didn't like, was that you're forced to yeah. take the next card so many times it happens and that you know way, you're you know? giving your opponent something phenomenal but you just can't right and there's nothing you can do about mm -hmm. it but that i think really fixes that problem mm -hmm. so excellent expansion really highly recommend it great well we hope you guys enjoyed this live playthrough and look forward to a lot more and talk to you later Bye bye, -bye.